masks are not theater. Masks are protective. And we you have immunity there, theater. If you already have immunity, you're wearing a mask to give comfort to others. Senator you're Paul, not you're wearing a mask I because of like any Dr. sign. I, I totally disagree with you. Follow up on Brittany's question about vaccines. Uh, do you think that the White House has had any part in this in having a sort of maybe pessimistic message towards some Americans who are skeptical of this administration, who for partisan reasons or otherwise, to see vaccinated people in the cabinet or the president continuing to wear masks around each other? or hearing that things won't be back to normal as the vaccine continues to be distributed? Do you think that that is having a negative effect at all? And people, make sure I understand your question. On people not skeptical. taking the vaccine? Yeah, of people who are skeptical of the vaccine and uh, who don't trust the Biden administration. Well, look, I think one, we recognize we're not always the best messengers. That's why we're working with these local organizations and groups, because we certainly know that President Biden and Vice President Harris may not be the right voices in a range of communities across the country. Two, we believe that part of our objective is to uh, model public health guidelines. And that means continuing to wear masks, continuing to hand wash, social distance. That's called theater. Uh, because there is still ongoing research on what is most effective and how to prevent distribution and it, uh, the, va the, I'm sorry, the pandemic traveling further. So I'm not sure I'm understanding your question. question is how do you, um, how do you strike that balance between being a model of the public health guidelines and also not contributing to this sense of hopelessness, perhaps, among people who are skeptical of the vaccine and maybe feel like getting it would not make a difference in their lives anyway? Sure. Yeah, I think a big part of what we're trying to do is provide accurate information about what getting a vaccine will enable the American people to do. Hence, the president gave a primetime address where he said, "If when you get the vac, if you when the vaccine's accessible to you and you get it, we can work towards having backyard yeah. barbecues." Uh, he, we've also had <laughs> oh a number of God. officials out there to convey, and we've had obviously the CDC has put out guidance that says if you're vaccinated, if your neighbors are vaccinated, you can have dinner inside together. It's a pandemic. We don't think it's easy. We know it's difficult. It's required a lot of sacrifice. But at the same time, we're trying to provide accurate public health based guidance on what people can do once they have uh, taken the vaccine. It's, it's called theater. You know that you don't need it. Yet you're doing it to perpetuate the idea to be this example. That's theater. That's theater, man. And never mind the fact that they're going to keep moving the goalposts whenever they feel like it anyway. But that's theater. That's exactly what that is. I'm going to pause here. I'm going to lose the script. And I'm going to reflect on the recurring feeling I have of impending view. It's really funny. She said, I'm going to drop the script. And then you watch her eyes moving across <laughs> the screen. She wasn't dropping the script. She was reading the script. That's theater. We have so much to look forward to so much promise and potential of where we are and so much reason for hope but right now i'm scared that's theater that's theater that's theater that's theater it's, it's called theater you know that you don't need it yet you're doing it to perpetuate the idea to be this example that's theater That's theater, man.